destination restaurant. You come here because you want the ambiance, you want the vibe, you want the service, you want everything that came along with the, the provision experience. Yeah, but the stay-at-home orders for Travis and Williamson counties went into effect just a few hours ago. These are orders that eliminate non-essential business for the next three weeks. And we're seeing that impact on yeah. restaurants. The orders are giving them the green light to continue serving food to go. KXN's Candy Rodriguez looking into this. And Candy, you found out not every menu translates to takeout. Yeah, Tom, sadly, that is the case. Provision offered its customers a casual approach to fine dining, a high-end experience nonetheless, but it's an experience you simply can't get when you stop by and pick up your food to go. The restaurant opened less than five months ago. Owner and executive chef Albert Gonzalez says the restaurant experienced growth in the first months and they were expecting a 20 to 30 percent growth just this month alone. But after city officials canceled South by Southwest, Gonzalez says the following week they experienced a 45 percent drop in sales. The restaurant closed down and on Wednesday it began to offer takeout. But on Saturday they shut down until further notice. Gonzalez says just to give you an idea, from Wednesday to Saturday, they sold at most 20 meals and made no more than $800. For comparison, Gonzalez says the restaurant can make that much money within the first hour and a half of a lunch rush on a Tuesday. We just weren't top of mind for takeout. We, we, we weren't the casual, fast place that made sense. And, and, and frankly, our food didn't translate as well to go. You know, it was designed to cook and sit and eat immediately and, and enjoy it while it's fresh. And a lot of our menu items didn't translate to that. So we tried while we could, uh, but unfortunately it was, it, it was short lived. Provisions neighbor Roaring Fork also decided to close. They had a notice outside their door letting customers know they would close for 15 days. At the end of the day, Gonzalez says he had to let go of 34 of his employees, but he's working with them. He's opened his doors and he's telling his former employees to come on by, pick up some of the produce they have left so they can feed their families during this difficult time. And once this is all over, Gonzalez says he's hopeful he will reopen and he will gladly take back every employee he had to let go. Back to you. All right, Candy, thank you. It's really hard.